Now we're gonna solve these not by graphing because if you're doing it by hand, the test value method is easier. What do you suppose we have to do first here? As with the equations, you have to isolate the absolute value. So how could I isolate the absolute value? The absolute value of one plus five x, how can I get that by itself? We have the absolute value of one plus five x minus two is less than four. How can I get the absolute value of one plus five x by itself? Add two, add two, and uh, what does that give me? The absolute value of one plus five x is less than six? Okay. Okay, step one, what was step one? Solve the related equation, right? To get your critical values. So I'm gonna turn this into an equation. The absolute value of one plus five x is equal to six. And you guys tell me how to solve that. What do I do with one plus five x? Set it equal to two things. So I'm gonna write it down twice. One plus five x equals something. One plus five x equals something else. Yeah, except you're always gonna wanna put negative six on the left because when we convert the answer to interval notation, the smaller number goes on the left. So negative six. And it really is an or statement between them. Let's solve both of these. Um, my left hand must have not known what my right brain was doing on that, okay. So uh, if we subtract one from both sides, what do we get? We get 5x is equal to negative seven. Divide both sides by five. And we get x is equal to negative seven fifths. Okay. Now this time I won't show the steps. If we subtract one from both sides, we get 5x is equal to five. Divide both sides by five, what do we get? X equals one. These are the critical values, right? Critical values. So that's step one, right? Then what do we do with those critical values? On a number line, let's graph those critical values. So this would be, if you're keeping track, let's, this would be step two. So negative seven fifths and one. Those critical values separate the number line into what three intervals? Negative infinity to negative seven fifths. What else? Negative seven fifths to one and one to infinity. Okay, let's pick some test values based on those intervals. What, uh, what would the first test value be in between negative infinity and negative seven fifths? Yeah, how about a test value of negative two? That's less than negative seven fifths and it's easy to work with. Remember, uh, you're gonna wanna plug into the inequality that's solved uh, for the absolute value. So the absolute value of one plus five X is less than six. The absolute value of one plus five X is less than six. Plug into this guy. Okay, so if we plug a negative two into that guy, do we get a true statement? No, no we don't. So one plus five times negative two, ask yourself, is that less than six? And it's certainly not because you actually get, what, a negative 10 plus one, negative nine? Is the absolute value of negative nine less than six? No. So as you might expect, we, we don't shade in that, in that region. What's your next test value gonna be in between negative seven fifths and one? Yeah, don't make it difficult. Don't make it negative two one thousandths. Um, make it something easy to work with. A test value of zero. So the idea then is you plug a zero in there. Do you get a true statement if you plug a zero in there? Yep. Yeah, you get one plus five times zero. You ask yourself, is that less than six? And yourself answers, yes. 
because you just end up with the absolute value of one once you multiply the five times the zero. Certainly that's less than six. So then the idea is, okay, shade in the interval from whence zero came. Okay, now what's your suspicion on the interval from one to infinity? It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Bear with me, show why it doesn't work. Test value, what would be a good test value bigger than one? Two, yeah, we don't, again, we don't get creative here. Uh, plug in two is the absolute value of one plus five times two, is that less than six? No, it's, what is that, 11? No. So don't shade there. So were the endpoints included? Nah, it was a strict inequality. Endpoints not included. So what's your solution? Based on that graph, what's your solution in interval going to be? Negative 7 fifths comma 1. So anything, any x value in between negative 7 fifths and 1, not including the endpoints, work. 